If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going on a massive Madden shopping spree. Now, guys, first thing I want to get out there is that I did start recording most of, like half this video and i realized i wasn't recording so i will show you guys what i picked up how much coins i spent kind of why i picked up those guys that i did and then continue to finish my shop shops for you guys now if you don't know we should be getting weekend league this upcoming thursday not this weekend next weekend that thursday and so forward so i'm trying to stack the team now we do got kickoff probably coming but as per usual kickoff guys cards might be super expensive may not even like them so gonna be going for the team now i'm gonna start building my team up now anyways it's probably gonna be a few masters anyway so you do realize that that's not gonna affect too much on your team but guys super excited to go through this and pick up some guys finally building the gat squad that i've been waiting for guys had the coins pulled and if you guys didn't see what i pulled today definitely or yesterday i highly advise you go back to yesterday's video and check it out guys we pulled the best card probably in, like the best pull you could probably one of the best pulls you could probably get at least the best pull for that day Go check it out, guys. I use a lot of those coins to pick up some players today. We're easily spending over a million coins today, maybe 1.5. You guys will see as we go. We'll add it all up at the end. But before we get to the video, go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, bell, boys. Come join the family. Smash that like button, guys. Can we get 50 likes in the first 10 minutes of this video being up? That'd be greatly appreciated. As well as, guys, if you need any coins to go on your own shopping spree or pick up a god squad, pick up some of these players I'm going to go over, head over to MuttReserve.com down below. Use code POODLE15% off, guys. It is highly discounted right now. For this weekend and i think this upcoming week so make sure you guys do use my code on top of it get an even better discount take advantage but let's head into it so first things first guys i didn't need a lot of things okay so i needed i needed a few cards i'm gonna go to my lineup and show you guys what we're working with before we go into the shop tree what i need to pick up kind of what this team i think needed in my opinion or zeke just sold so this team needed a lot of work to be done guys a lot a lot of work so obviously the first card we to pick up was bo jackson so we're on the lineup here as you guys do see so far for today's pickups before i go into the ones i just did from this morning we got bo jackson Picked him up for around 720k. It was a pretty decent price at the time. As you guys know, Bo Jackson was a must-have. I did want Barry, but Barry was just, he went up in price crazy. Bo Jackson got 92 speed, 91 excel, 90 agility though, 87 carrying, 89 change of direction, 90 trucking, 90 break tackle. Gonna be a power monster while also being simultaneously super, the fastest card in the field at the same time. So definitely can't go wrong with a Bo Jackson. Now, what needed work on this team, in my opinion, was going to be the line of scrimmage. Like, we gotta work on our offensive line. Like, this offensive line... We're not going to be able to hold up with the line of scrimmage at all. We need a better offensive line. I figured that. We need a better tight end. We might need one receiver in here. I'm thinking Tyreek Hill. Kind of deciding, though, because he's super expensive. Quarterback and running uh, running back are perfect. Those are set. Locked in for at least this first week in league. Now, on the defensive side of the ball, we are super weak, guys. I did pick up Aaron Donald last night, so I'm throwing this into here as well. Cost me about 200, I believe, 200K, plus the power up. Probably like a grand total of about like 300K worth of stuff there. Aaron Donald, super worth those. We picked up him. But we know what we need to work at. Our linebackers, our front seven is just weak. Crazy weak. We, we get no pass rush stuff. And then our secondary just gets burnt, guys. Our safeties need work. Our linebackers need work. We need another cornerback and defensive. Our whole team needs work, right? So we're going to go into what I did buy so far. I'll just show you guys. So when I was going into thinking about this, in terms of price efficiency and going into this, I knew I needed a safety, right? I needed a safety. And I didn't want to have to power players right now because we do know a lot of stuff's going to come out and you're going to have to unpower cards down. So for right now, what could I do? That would be the most efficient way to not power up a card and still get things done. That is these superstar players. We've got Tyra Matthew. We got Ezekiel Elliott, Miles Garrett. A few good options here, right? We already got Lamar, though. So I decided Tyra Matthew was a great option as one of the guys. Got him for around, I believe, 220 ish. I'll show you guys all my buys in just a second. But Tyra Matthew, super solid. Gonna get zone threshold, man threshold, fast, and you go play my cornerback. I don't know yet if I wanna play my cornerback or safety. Haven't quite decided that yet, but super solid option. Then as I was moving on there, I need another pass rusher aside Aaron Donald. Who should I get? I can move Aaron Donald to right end, and that's when I decided I was going to go ahead and pick up Miles Garrett. Now, he is down a little bit from what I bought him for, uh, for which kind of sucks, but again, comes pre-built with abilities. Super great stat-wise. He gets the 91 power move threshold, which is what I really liked about him, while also having, I believe, edge threat or edge threat elite, whatever it is. So that's super solid as well. So those are two of the guys that I decided to pick up for the team, but we weren't done just yet there. So now we realized we needed some line help as well. So for price wise, I was like, who's a we need some of the we need some of the, the legends, right? Left tackle, Joe Thomas. I was like, he's a pretty good price right now. I scooped him up, figured we needed some help at the left side of the line because we were getting destroyed there by good pass rushers. And right now, there's not too many great pass rushers, but the ones that they are, if you have them, you're destroying that left tackle or the right tackle. 
And then I also wanted some help at right guard, which is when I saw that Larry Allen was going for a pretty decent price, around 170k coins, and even Zach Martin going for 140. So scooped him up as well. Super solid. Now I'm going to go to the team in just a second and show you guys what I have, and then we're going to continue the shopping spree. So stay tuned. We have plenty of other players still buying. So guys, this is what we're working with so far. We got Larry Allen. We got Joe Thomas on the line. The offense is still looking similar, but the offensive line is definitely short up. Now, could we use a left guard? Probably. So we'll probably scoop a left guard. And then from there on out, I think I'm pretty happy what we got as, as, far, as far as run blocking and pass blocking. We're pretty solid there. We still need another receiver, though, to fill in that Sammy Watkins spot. Looking for someone probably fast. And then defensively, the secondary is pretty short up now. We got Steve Atwater, which I didn't add in there before, by the way. I was going to show you here. Atwater, we got Tyron Matthew, we got White, we got Aeneas Williams. Now, I do need one other guy. Now, what I'm leaning towards doing here is for sure upgrading him to right, which I'm going to need um, the position thing here, which just costs 500, which just kind of suck. But I'm switching over to left end. And then I may even get rid of uh, Aeneas Williams and go with Leroy Glover at defensive tackle and pick up another cornerback. Now, this is going to be tough here. Let's see what else we can pick up. We're going to head to the block. We definitely need to make sure we get another linebacker. Linebacker is a must. Cornerback, one cornerback is a must. And we probably need to look for one more wide receiver slash tight end. But let's go check out the block and see what else we can work with. Hey guys, for left us on linebacker, I know a lot of you guys probably think going with Elmas Dumerville is probably the best one's the best option. But for me, it's going to be Khalil Mack. And it's just as it's just simple. Khalil Mack is power. I'm going to power him up. He's going to be an all-year card. Unlike a guy like Dumerville who may not get another upgrade the rest of the year. You never know. I want a guy that I can pretty much just get on the team, lock in, and be happy with for most of the year. Now, tight end is going to be a soft spot, guys. I really don't know where to go. I might even avoid tight end for now. I might get, I might get a budget one. I don't think I need a great tight end in my personal opinion right now because Finley's the best one, but Finley is way too much money. He's near like 280k. I think I'm just going to go with a nice budget one that's super fast, like an Evan Ingram or one of those guys, and just rock with them for now just in terms of like, I just think that's the most efficient thing to really do here. Now, Darren Wool is only 18k. He's definitely an option. 9,000 coins. He's really fast with an 85 speed. That's all I really care about here is speed at tight end. I don't use them to really run routes. I more just like them when I find them in open space and they're open. And linebackers are super easy to dot up right now. Trust me, guys. You really don't got to go too crazy in that specific spot. Now, we do need a cornerback. Now, cornerback's going to be tough because all the cornerbacks I do want are way too expensive. I'm leaning towards maybe a Stephon Gilmore. He could be a guy that'll be really good all year long. Now, he's a bit on the slower side, but then again, with the way cornerbacks are now, not necessarily. It's kind of tough. For now, do I really want a defensive tackle like Merle Olsen? Not exactly, but he is going to be a pretty cheap option to get a nice 89 overall. Great run stuffer, great pass rusher. Not the fastest, but we definitely need that to secure up our line. Now, I'm feeling pretty good there. So, we have an outside linebacker. We have a, we do need another middle linebacker. Now, I do love Devin Bush, but I don't know if that's the best option for my set. I need another linebacker. I don't. I, think I might go with the speed route over the, the ratings route here, like... If I can find a nice little budgety linebacker that has the speed but is still able to play the field just fine, I might end up going that route. This is super tough. I just don't think I could justify spending 178,000 coins on a power up card. Yes, I can use my power pass. Yes, I can do all that, but that kind of beats the purpose of using the power pass, in my opinion. I'm going to have to just wait for that card to come down a little bit before I can really invest into it. Now, if we get close to the weekend league and he's still not up at that price, I'm going to have to probably do it, but for now, I don't feel like that's the smartest investment. Yeah, so this is the new look team. Now, guys, you might question some of my choices here, but again, I know how I run my offense. See, in my opinion in Mutt, or in general, when you play Madden, you don't always have to just stack out your team at every position to scare people. At the end of the day, you have to know how you play, and I know how I'm going to play. I'm not some crazy hot route, dot them up kind of guy now. I'm good at passing. I'm good at running. I'm not, I'm not bad at either one. I'm good at both. Pretty good at both, actually. But I'm not, I only need a few things. I need a great running back. He's going to get the job done. So my running game is fine. My line is secured. A good line and a few good players, and my offense can be fine. I care more about the defensive side, quite honestly. But I got the quarterback, I got the running back. Tyler Lockett's a little budgety version of uh, Hill. I'm not going to spend half a million coins on Hill right now. It's just unbelievably dumb right now. Um, Jonu Smith's going to be fast, all I need. So offense pretty sure up. Now the defense could use a little more work potentially, but this is what I'm working with for now because we have some new cards coming out. But for now, there's going to be the shopping spree. The safeties are secured up. The linebackers, I'm going to rock with Devin Bush and Roquan Smith for now. Again, I know what I like to do. Devin Bush doesn't have to be good, just fast. I have him. That's my user. That's fine. Roquan Smith is decently fast to get over the top and fill some gaps, so that's fine too. And in my scheme, I won't be using Darius Leonard anyways. In my big nickel scheme, I'm going to have um, my ends, my defensive tackle, and Khalil Mack down on the line. And then with that, I'll be able to go ahead and put one guy out in the zone, which I probably will fill in as a safety. Now, what I do need to do is probably pick up another safety that I can lock in. I might, I might play Tyron over the field, depending on my formation. He'll be in the box sometimes. He'll, uh, as, as like a zone kind of a middle linebacker, he'll be at cornerback sometimes. So he's going to be all over the field. Now, what I do need more, guys, and I want to just wait because I don't like the prices right now of some guys, is I'm one more cornerback, and I got to switch over Aaron Donald to left end. I will do that once I get the training to do so. But it seems like I'm pretty solid, guys. I like it for me. I think I could take this into weekend league. Maybe one more upgrade. Maybe. It really just depends on 
what comes out. Because if we get some good stuff this week, I wouldn't mind picking up one more wide receiver. But for the most part, I'll be good. I don't use three wide receivers. I usually only lose one or two wide receivers the way I play. I know the way I want to I want to look for things. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let's go to my auction though, so real quick to show you guys what I did purchase and how much for. If you see notifications here, it should show you guys. Uh, Merton Lolson, we picked up Joni Smith, Khalil Mack, of course. We picked up Miles Garrett, Steve Atwater, Tyron Matthew. We picked up uh, Joe Thomas, Larry Allen, Miles Garrett. Oh, that was the other one. Oh, yeah, that's it right there. So we picked up how many guys total? We picked up, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We picked up eight guys. That's pretty solid. Eight guys, well over a million coins, probably around like 1.3 because we did start at one number, but then with some things bought out. Probably around like 1.3, 1.4. I'll do up on the math, and obviously you'll see it in the title, guys. But that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's shopping spree. If you guys want to see more like this whenever I do get more coins and I decide to fix my team again, up again, like the video, smash that like button, of course. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think I should have picked up. Anyone, if you guys have any recommendations for linebacker, outside linebacker, or another cornerback, let me know down below. Or wide receiver. And, of course, make sure to subscribe. Turn on the only boys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.